you record basically your your main uh, vocals, which you know will be the thing that you build everything off of. Try and get it in one take, because that's dope as fuck. If you can one take your tracks, that means you practiced and rehearsed. I can't do it all the time, but when I do, it feels awesome. So. The Ripper, Robbie G, and Ru Oh, I remember the days just chilling with the homies, smoking on a blunt and tipping on a 40. This is just the story of the old days, always in classes, skipping to go twist the little grass. I, I do a lot of my stuff myself, which is kind of strange in comparison to a lot of people that will work with an engineer in the studio. I bring the mouse in with me and I set up my program and I can see the computer through the screen and I click record and do everything myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my way and I'ma never give up. Don't give up. I'll be growing and I'm going through the changes, dealing with the day to day shit. It's hard to stay creative. Gotta work until I make it, got a purpose and I'll stay to live life appreciate it. Cause we really I got this here. I got like sheets of actual music notes and do my bridges right. Like A flat, A flat, E flat, C, C, C. And like, you know what I mean? Da, 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 da. Hold up, I'm almost there. Gotta make room as I come through here. Tear the whole place up and bust upstairs. Get the club shut down like I don't care. I tell him. I'm on my way and I'm gonna fly. When I came up and I started, there was no hip hop shows going on in Guelph. Like, once every year, you can't make it anywhere else until you can make it in your home. And nobody else was doing them, so we rented halls, we rented equipment, you know, got DJs, played the music, uh, brought fans out, sold tickets, all that kind of stuff early on without even having headliners, just with the local artists, and did really successfully to the point where now, um, you know, we're bringing in lots of quality shows, a lot of big talent, and all started from just that fact that nobody else was doing it. Got my homie Mocha on the hook, let's do this. Yeah, I need you to balance a little bit with me, Guelph. Get wild with me. Influences, musically, I'd say Nas and Guru. Nas has been my favorite rapper of all time, and Guru just intense with like the messages that he put in his music, the consistency of his work ethic. I don't know, I was always like hustling when I was younger. Um, selling weed and shit like that and I started making music the opportunity came up to you know sell some harder drugs and got locked up in jail kind of reevaluated my life goals at that point what I was really doing what I really wanted and, and a lot of people get caught up I was caught up in the mentality of the music that I was listening to which was a lot of like you know music talking about selling drugs my preference used to be to just really do those thoughtful, introspective rhymes, and that was like more what I was trying to do. You're hearing me, cause I use my mind to dream a dream, so limit the amount of time your eyes are on the TV screen. But then I started seeing like how people react to songs and what really affects people to, to want to you know, make a change or something. And these fun songs, these pleasurable songs are, are some of the best ways to get that reaction out of people and get them to realize, you know, enjoy life, live life, have a good time. Uh, I've done you know, almost probably close to 500 shows now and having that experience to give to somebody who's only done their first show or their first 10 or 20 shows, I think is crucial because nobody really did that for me. It's crucial, it's crucial to have um, young talent, but just a platform for any artist really, even if it's 35 year old MC or a 40 year old MC and they're just starting in the game and they want to know how to perform, then I want to be able to have that platform to provide for them. I see a lot of other artists, like their music will only fit for a certain type of show, whereas I can make my music fit for any show. When you bring in an artist like Sean Paul, you have to have a reggae set that's gonna work. When the ICP came, I've got some like dark, wicked, you know, kind of songs that, you know, or about clowns or stuff like that that can kind of relate to that audience, you know what I mean? Thank you so much, ICP's coming up next. So 
that's one of the things that definitely I think differentiates me from a lot of the other artists is they get stuck in their boxes and I, I say fuck a box, color outside the lines. I don't really perform without doing a solid uh, rehearsal even if I have to do it at the hotel right before I go to the show or even like backstage or something, you know, really crafting a good set and try and stand out on the show. If there's six or seven artists or two artists or three artists, I want to make sure that when the, the fans leave that night, they remember me and they, uh, they know who Robbie G is. Bobby G, I'm an anomaly. Some think that I'm crazy, but it's just because I'm crazy in love with hip hop. Organic growth, slow but sure to succeed. I don't need a packed arena, not a person with greed. If I can rock a couple hundred people, that's perfect for me. We have high expectations, which leads to disappointment. Life gets aggravating, but we need to just enjoy it.